So uh, click on the double arrow to bunch up your um, tools on the left. Get rid of the white fill in your colour boxes. Bring the black stroke to the front. You'll need your stroke panel and your layers. So if you go to Window, <coughs> Workspace, Reset Essentials Classic and bring those two up. Right then, so uh, zoom, click uh, Z on your keypad, zoom in. So what we're going to do is uh, copy the front to make the back. So black selection tool or V on the keypad, hold down option, drag to the right. Okay. So what we've got to do is lengthen our darts to begin with. So we'll just might ungroup it if it's grouped ungroup select our darts hold down shift to select both of them drag them down to the same point get the white selection tool move it out to match up with the image on the keypad click on the waistband hold down shift click to the hem Make a selection tool, click on the desk pad. Now, hand tool, I'm going to make the zip. It's very narrow, just a normal uh, zip. Lap zip. Hold down shift, straight line. Hold down shift, straight line into the centre back. Uh, and also, I'm going to draw that line for the stitching. Deselect is either Shift Command A or you can just select a selection tool and click on any space. Zoom in Z on the zip head. We need our rounded rectangle. Someone the other day mentioned they didn't have one, so either use a rounded rectangle or a rectangle. Just click and drag, and then you can get your white selection tool and see so these little um, nodes in the corner you just pull and that will make it into a curve black selection tool we're going to rotate it and it should be 0.75 points now stitching we're going to make a stitch line for our zip <clears throat> click on dashed line so uh, 0.5 weight should be two in the dash one in the gap and make sure the end uh, where it says dash line over to the right, make sure that icon's ticked. Our stitching line down here, we're going to select that, get our eyedropper tool, we'll press I on the keypad, click over our stitch line. That way you know that they're exactly the same. Now we're going to make the step in the hem. So we're going to cut our path as well where it meets our centre back seam, cut it where it meets the stitching. We're going to add a point on the hem. So we're adding it this side because we're dragging our hem just down a little bit like that. Underneath, we're zooming in because we need to get rid of that little wiggly line by pushing in the handlebar, pushing in the other handlebar or go a bit off uh, initially but then it'll be fine so don't worry about it moving and this line we're just going to thicken it on the end so it matches the width of the outline which should be one so make sure the outline is about 1.5 okay so uh, get your tool your width tool it's shift w or it's the one that looks like a harp click on the end and just drag and then pull that down to meet that line there. It's just a, an effect. It's not absolutely necessary but it, it does make for a nicer drawing. Okay, that one's done. Save it, Command S or Control S. Lock that layer, hide that layer, hide the image. Now we're going to move on to our pant. Click on the pant image, click on the drawing pant. So we've drawn half the pant. 
what we need to do is draw our pleat line which sits in the middle of our pant. We need to peek where you've peaked it in the centre of the hem first and then come up and just visually judge that you're in the centre of the leg. It's not a straight line, it's actually on a slight angle. Click to there. Now this one should be 0.5. We only want it to the waist. You make a belt loop. So rectangle tool, click and drag. So it's quite narrow, don't make it too wide. Uh, we're going to rotate it and don't worry about making it absolutely perfect, it's fine just like that. We want it to be 075 and we also want it to be a white fill which automatically puts it back to one point, one point weight so we need to reduce it by 0.75. Pen tool, we're going to draw our belt loop on the side, can't see it much here but the way it looks is it's just a path, a line. Click on the top of the waistband, click to where the base of your belt loop is, hold and drag. And make sure the curve curves downwards, make sure it has no white fill um, because of gravity. If, it, if you have it sort of sticking out like a cup handle, it just sort of looks a bit awkward. But if you sort of pull it down, it looks better. Okay, so we've got... Um, we're going to draw a pocket as well. Uh, you can click in the middle on the waistband and the pocket sort of ends where your fly ends, out there. Remember you've got to get your hand into your pocket. 075 for that one too. All internal detail isn't joined to the outline. So don't worry about things not joining up, they're not meant to. Uh, I think that's right. So uh, we'll copy that over to the back. Okay. Zoom in again. Actually. Copy our, um, copy reflect our pants, select all the left hand side, O on the keypad next to P, hold down option, click on the centre line of the template, choose vertical and copy. Zoom in on the waistband. Now we don't want it overlapping, at the moment it looks like it might be overlapping a bit. Uh, what we're going to do is cut. So this is why should always sort of work on the other side of the on the premise that you leave a little gap so I probably could have when I drew it left a little bit more of a gap there just so that it's easier to join now the join tool is here uh, some people are saying they don't have the join tool if you don't have the join tool use the white selection tool remember the join tool is actually under the shaper tool as well so the white selection tool, you can select it, right click, um, J, select it, right click, average, both, and right click, join. So it's a lot more fiddling around than it is with just the join tool. You also need to join uh, the path, the centre of the legs. Again, these are sort of just a bit out. So I can physically move them apart and then move them back. The join tool is great because you just rub over the top and it's joined. And we'll just move this back, make sure it's in the centre. Go. All right. So uh, zoom in. We're going to draw our centre front line. So our opening all pants have to have this line unless they're those horrible nappy pants that were in a few years ago uh, or they're a pant that has a gusset in the um, crutch area. So our zip is a man's fly, it's quite wide. Click, hold down shift, click to here and then click into the centre front hold and drag to make the curve. Sitting 
at the back, so we'll bring it to the front, shift command, bring to the front, there we go. Uh, we can actually go back to our skirt drawing and copy, hmm, can't see the stitching, uh, yeah, there we go. So select your fly, come back to your skirt, get your eyedropper tool and hopefully this will I'm in a pant, your skirt layer, hide it, put your image back on. Or you could just do the um, stitch line again, two, one. Okay, uh, I'm going to copy this to the back. Select all the front, hold down option, drag it to the back, zoom in. Enter it. All right, so we don't need our um, fly or our pockets. We need our line for our back seam. Delete. Uh, we need to move our belt loops so it's easier just to select one and go one, two, three, four, five. Same on the other side, one, two, three, four, five. That's with the keypad arrows. Draw a dart. So we've got a little dart here. With the pen tool, um, select it, make sure it's 0 0.75, press O, we're going to copy reflect it, O next to P, option, click on the centre back seam, copy, there we go. Now we're going to make a belt loop for the back, um, I have said that you can either select, hold down option, move it over, rotate, if you can get it straight it'll work really well so there we go uh, we'll make a back pocket we just need a rectangle to begin with and we're just going to click and drag a narrow shape we don't want any white fill get rid of the white fill forward slash zoom in uh, cut the dart then get your pen tool click in the middle of the rectangle you just made, hold down shift, click to the other side, make that 0.5. Okay, now we're going to draw the button, ellipse tool, uh, shift, click and drag. Don't want any white fill. Uh, I can sit under there, about there. Uh, your buttonhole is always about half your shift, half your button width, so you can sort of line it up like that. Now we're going to select the button, the buttonhole, and all the pocket. I'm going to come up to view line and choose center. And then if you feel like you need to move it away from the edge a bit, just use your keypad arrow. There we go. Command zero. All right, uh, that's done. We can name our um, trades as well. So if you want to get your type tool, which is T on the keypad, and just type Taylor, T-A-I-L-O-R-E-D, paint with back pocket. Font can take a little while to load and just sort of choose a different um, font, if you want to make it bigger, just hold down shift and drag with the black selection tool, or you can make it. Okay, now we're going to lock that, hide the pant, we're going to click on the dress image, um, when it's moved, I'll have to unlock the layer and move it back over my figure. I have to click on my dress drawing, check that I've got it lined up. There we go. So I'll go back and lock my dress image, click on my dress draw layer. Zoom in. All right, so we've got our strap and our front binding. 
I'll just make them a different colour so that I don't get confused. Whoops, it is there. Swap the colour, get rid of the fill. Okay, because uh, I have to join this front. So I click on the front. Um, again, just zoom in and check that it's not going over the edge. Mine is, so I'm just going to cut it the other side of the centre front. Select the bit I don't want, delete it. Black selection tool, select it again. O, next to P, going to copy reflect, hold down option, click on the ruler. Choose vertical and choose copy. Okay, now I have to join that. I'm just going to use my join tool. Come down to the hem. Command zero if you want to zoom out quickly. Uh oh, I've cut the hem too close. So I'm just going to delete that bit. Let's check. I've got the other bits. There we go. Okay. So I'll show you the other technique. Direct selection tool A, select it, right click, average, both, right click, join. Okay, command zero. So that's done, we've got our shape. Uh, we're going to zoom in on our top and we're going to make our bindings. So we need to select both, hold down shift, select both paths for the bindings in our stroke panel I'll just hide all this stuff here uh, we're going to go up to five or six don't want a round cap um, six move them over over yeah, that's better. Okay, so what happens is you're widening the path and then you go up to object in the menu, come down to path and choose outline stroke. Nothing appears to happen, but it, what it is is it's become a fill. If you click on the double arrow and swap it, it will become stroke. And now we need to neaten it up. So <clears throat> zoom in. Uh, Rather than deleting and cutting and all that, we're going to add a point here. Get our minus, so pen minus, or you can press minus on the keypad. Click on that endpoint. So this is hiding behind this strap anyway, so it doesn't matter what it looks like behind there. This one's different. Uh, plus point, so if you go command Y, you can sort of imagine that if you continued up from the side seam to here, that's where you want to put your point. And you need another point to bring this bit of the binding down to meet the side of the dress. We want to get rid of this point. I'll show you what. what command Y again. Command Y, so I'm going to minus this point out, minus, and then what we need to do is get our white selection tool and just push in that little lumpy bit that was there. Make sure you don't change the width of your strap here. So that's all done. Command minus. So we need to copy reflect our binding, but before we do that we'll make our stitch lines. So we click on the point in the middle of two points. Actually, you might hold down Shift and click on that point as well. And go Command C, Command F, or Control C, Control F. One, two, three. So this is our stitching line. Cut it where it meets the bind. Whoops! Don't cut the binding. Cut it where it meets the binding. Delete the end. We're going to do the same on our centre front. So this is why it's good to have one point. I've got two points there, so I need to select both of them. Otherwise, it'll only copy half the binding. Command C, Command F. One, two, three. And that should be one. I'm just going to cut that bit there. It might be sticking out. 
uh, add a point into that corner, minus out the end point. There we go. Now we need to, actually before we do that, we might as well make our pattern brush. So we've done this once before. Oh no, we haven't. So we're going to make our pattern brush. Open the file in the CAD3 folder, in our Merch3 folder. Open up the pattern brush exercise. And so what we need is to make our pattern brush and we're using our twin needle and the way that we do that is we scale it to a path so you need to zoom right in and scale this because you're thinking you know if I want twin needles sort of going around this path should it look like that try not to un unselect it should probably group it but anyway that'll we've got that scale so now we're just going to copy it command copy come back to our file command paste oh and I pasted the hint okay uh, so I don't need this path all right now the way a pattern brush works and this is you never sort of do just a normal stitch line and then copy it twice for a twin needle it always ends up really messy what's happening here is the red line represents a bounding box I'm taking the color out of that and so what it does is it tells the um, computer that that's the space between the strokes so if we go to our brushes panel open it out so we can have a look uh, click on the list and go new brush and we always make a pattern brush pattern brush so it goes around corners basically name it twin needle T W I N N W D L E uh, third box down the bottom here this is what it looks like on corners always go for the join corner flip along stretch to fit colorization if you choose U shift that means it, you can color it later on it's not just stuck at black and white okay and so that's now added to our uh, brushes so zoom in on our we no longer need that twin needle icon we'll delete that select your two paths that are your stitching paths they're the ones that sit inside the binding click on the brush and we're going to choose black as well okay and I did say in the notes that you only click in twice and I was right one so just bring those close to the edge um, this binding we're going to add a white fill to it hopefully it's sitting on the top there we go uh, and this one black as well oh sorry default D and then just check that it is the front bind is sitting behind the armhole bind that's the way they're constructed and we need to do the hem as well so copying the hem uh, we wouldn't use the same technique as uh, we did. Well, I'm just going to copy that shape. Option drag. I'm going to cut because we only want the path. Select the bit don't want. Delete it. Bring the path back down. and come back to your brushes which are now hidden window if you lose your brushes just go under window brushes twin needle there we go so now we've got our hem stitching as well if ever you want to check your work 
just hide the other layers. I could probably extend that corner. I might have cut it a little bit too close. There we go. White selection tool to edit path. Okay, so we have all of that except what we need is to copy reflect that top binding. Uh, o, option, hold down option, alt, or alt, click on there, copy. Okay, there we go. That's the front done. Now we're going to make the back by copying the front, select everything, hold down option, drag or alt, drag it to the side of the dress. Zoom in. So we do need these bindings, they're going to be sitting at the back, so I'm just going to select them both and go shift command back bracket or option right click option arrange send to the back now uh, we also need to be able to see our well we don't really need to see our binding so we'll start with our strap because that's hidden underneath the so we're going the same width as we did on the front strap Rotate, so I just use the corner arrow to rotate. You can use the rotate tool, which is R on the keypad. So that's like that. A bit longer because you want to hide it in there. If you need to rotate it more, you can. Copy the path. White selection tool, Command C, Command F. One, two. Brushes, twin needle. White fill D. There we go, sitting at the front. Now we need a path for our back of our dress. Which we may as well just copy this one over while we're there. Uh, we haven't got a centre line, but we should be alright. You can view rulers. Guides, show guides. Sometimes the rulers disappear, so it'll be in guides, show guides. Okay, that got two rules. Alright, that's not in the middle. I'm just going to move it into the middle. There we go. Alright, so you do need a ruler of some kind. It can either be the line on the template or a ruler to copy reflect. Select it, O, optional alt. Click on the ruler, vertical, copy, there we go. Done. Uh, slightly out of whack. Just going to move over. There we go. All right, now we're going to get our ellipse tool and just click and drag to create a curve. We're going to get rid of the white fill. Ah. Can we get rid of the white fill? Click on the box to bring it to the front, the fill box. Now, black selection tool, move it up. So we basically want to copy the same curve as the top there, so you can line it up with something as well. Uh, put it in the middle, line it up with the centre toggle with the centre front line, might drag it up a little bit more. It's a bit less straight than my original one. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, cut on the outside edge. Hmm. Okay, select the back of it that you don't want. Delete it. This one, we're going to go up to one, two, three. We're going to go path, object, path, outline stroke, flip. Going to zoom in. 
or I think what might be easier is make it bigger. So it has to go right to the edge of that front bind. I'll do it like that, get that sort of lined up first. Hmm. Did I change the weight of the line? I think I might have. Anyway, see what happens. Looks wider, doesn't it? Okay, just going to wing it. Uh, plus, pen plus, add a point, add a point, minus, pen minus, minus add a point, minus add a point. Now we're going to zoom in, neaten up that edge. White selection tool, just going to get rid of that lumpy bit, call that out touch. Click on the handlebar, push it in without moving it too much. Now, see how that's pointy? Over in your stroke panel, you can click on your rounded corner. I'll get rid of that. Now we're going to fill it with Oh, before we do that, we'll copy the path, white selection tool, click on the point, command copy, command F, and two, make it a twin needle, and then make our outline of our bind solid white, zero. Okay, so I think that's done. Zoom in. Okay. A shape that covers up the inside. I've noticed I've only got it on the inside of the bind. It should actually cover the whole of the um, front binding. So we're going to copy our paths. So black selection tool, click on and get rid of our ruler now, select it and delete. So we need to select all of our um, shapes involved with that top binding area. Hold down option, drag, and then and zoom in. And so what we need is to cut So what we need to do is make a grey shape. It should go up to the outside edges of the front. I haven't got that on my actual image here. but um, So just black selection tool, hold down shift, select all the binding involved with the front of the garment. Command minus, option, alt, drag or alt. And then we're going to cut, cut our path. Uh, so we really only need um, up to there. We'll do that both sides because that other part will get hidden behind the back binding. Oh, also, select everything. Make sure there's no white fill. Forward slash. Okay. So the bits we don't need are cut the front. Cut the sides. Okay. Delete the bits you don't want. And then we just need to join this piece. Join tool, or you can select over the endpoints, Command J. It doesn't matter if we've got more than two points at a join. Um, you may get a thing like this, and it just means that there's more than two points at that, that corner. Maybe. Okay, so now that you've got something like this shape, you then um, flip it, so you come over to your colour box, Click on the double arrow. Then you need your transparency panel. That's the one with the two circles over on the right here. 
and bring it down to 25%. So 25% is good for black and white images, but if you're uh, making a image for that's coloured, you might want to change the colour of it or make it a heavier, deeper colour. Okay, so that's not matching up. That's okay, don't worry. Zoom in. What we need to do is just add a point because it's going to get hidden behind. Actually, I'll put that there. Two points. Drag this up under there. Okay, same on the other side. Let's see if we've got any extra points. Oh, no. Let's see if we've got. There we go. Might have an extra point in there. And then we just need to bring our front straps. So we might have to hold down shift. Oh, and the bottom. So all of that stuff has to be brought to the front. Okay. Shift command forward bracket or right click arrange bring to the front. Command zero. Hide everything so I can see your drawing. Alright, lock it, hide it, save it, Command S or Control S. Template, top image, top drawing, unlock the top drawing, select the top drawing layer. Alright, so um, we have our top. We need to copy reflect it. So select all of it. O, Alt, click on the ruler, vertical, copy. Oh, I missed the back, back neck. Back neck, select back neck. O, Option, click on the ruler, copy. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to join those. Just with your rulers, if they're active, um, this will affect when you're joining. Just go up to View, Guides, Lock Guides. Just going to join this, join that. Okay. So what we have is a solid outline. I'll just change my guides. If ever you like this grey guide, so it's very hard to see, you can double click on the actual layer, not the layer name, and choose a different colour uh, for your guides. There you go. So we've got all this. Um, so what we need is a copy of the back neck and the front neck. Get the white selection tool, click on the centre front neck, Command copy, Command F to copy that neck. And we also need that back neck. So we're going to copy it. And I've just realised that I've got an extra copy of the front neck left over. I'll just delete that. All right. So this we need to um, copy it again. So we need one for our grey area and one to create our... Um, we've got a few things to do here. We're going to make a binding shape. And we're going to add a binding stripe to it so it looks like ribbing. And we're going to have a grey back fill. So, do what we did last time. We're going to select both of them in our weight, in our stroke panel. We're going to go up to six. Make sure it has a square edge on it and go object, path, outline stroke, flip it and move it back over the actual top. You'll notice that this is sitting a bit high, we'll just um, move it down a bit. Yeah, move that to there. We'll um, 
Sometimes it's easier to colour this a different colour so that uh, you know what's what. I might send that to the back as well. Shift Command, send to the back. Okay, now look at the front. Um, what we've got to do is get this to line up with the neckline. I think that point's in the right spot. We just need to add a point here and minus out that corner and pass. That's good. Um, delete a point minus A to squish in that little bar there. This one's slightly different. You can normally get away with just a little bit of moving there. Um, and then the back neck, what we'll do is bring it to the front. Shift command bring to the front forward bracket. And we'll just line it up with the edge. So add a point plus here. And we're going to need to extend it on the back, but we'll leave that for later. Add a point here, minus a point there. White selection tool, squish it in. Same on the other side, minus um, yeah, overlock. And we'll just uh, oh yeah, put it there. So this we need to copy, and we need to copy our back shape as well. And this is going to be our clipping mask. So what we've got here, which we need to copy this again. So many copies. This one. So this one is our ribbing. So over in our stroke box, if you look at the notes, um, steps number 46, it's five points, one, two, three, four, five, and then it's dashed line, and it's... Um, Dash is two, two five, and uh, gap is two points. Two. Okay, there we go. So that's our um, ribbing half. They're both done. And sometimes you need a clipping mask for these sorts of things, but I. I have a funny feeling that these sort of fit within the shape quite well. There's a little bit sticking out on the back there, so I might just select the back. Just make sure the ribbing's sort of sitting centred. Object clipping mask make. And so that, that gets rid of the bits you can't see, uh, the bits you don't want to see. So that's good. Uh, the front neck seems to be fine. It's not showing any bits that need removing. Okay, so what we've got is our front stitching. We need a white fill in our... Oh, okay, so this is where we have a bit of, bit of trouble. Got to make sure everything's layered properly. So you've got your back neck. Now this sits in the back neck. I'll make that black before we move on. Black outline. Put the ribbing in. Don't need that path. This one is our stitching. And we need to cut. Cut that. Um, our front neck, uh, then we have our ribbing. So that's at the back, so we need to bring that to the front. Shift Command, bring to the front. We've got our stitching. So our stitching sits underneath anyway, so it doesn't matter. Move that back. Yep. Sits there. Select all of this one, shift command, send it back. Tap behind. 
We've got our shape, join our shape on the corners, flip, um, transparency 25%. Okay, so what we have to do is get our brushes, and so we need our twin needle, so that's at the front. Um, Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's actually over the ribbing, but we're putting ours under the ribbing. And then we need to make our overlock brush. So go back to your pattern brush exercise, zoom out, come to the second one. That's our overlock brush. Select it, copy it, come on, copy, come back to our trades, command paste, control V, now squish it down, that looks about the right size for zoom in, uh, make it 0.25, so very fine, in the stroke V, squish it down, we want a um, Make sure that the out the red bounding box has no colour. Select all of it with the black selection tool or the group selection tool. Sit it over the path, check that it's going to look alright. It's actually going to sit. Uh, it actually sits here. Um, and make a pattern brush, new brush, pattern brush. Okay, overlock. Uh, corners, okay. flip along, stretch to fit, colorization, view shift, okay. Um, I've already made it, so we'll just pretend that I made a new one. Okay, uh, now that I've realized I put the stitching in the wrong <coughs> spot, I need to move my stitching and select my stitching and choose. Whoop. Okay. That's the old one. If that ever happens, you can always reduce the size in your stroke panel. Okay, do. All right. Um, I'm going to move my grey shape in. It's a bit pointy on the ends there, so I might need to add a point plus, 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 plus. Get rid of that point minus. Move it back into place. No, still. Anyway, that'll do. We'll we'll fiddle with that later. Command zero. Uh, we need stitching. So we have twin needle on our hem. Command copy. Command F. Select it. Command copy. Command F. One two. Oh, and it half. Hold down shift, make sure you select both your front points. Command copy, command F. One, two, three, four, five. Same with the hems. Command copy, command F. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Oh, maybe a bit less on the sleeve. Command copy, command F. Looking at those sleeves, it's uneven, so I think what's happened is we need to sort of pull it in. There we go, that's better. And just cut that end point here. Delete. Let's see if this is joined. There it is. Okay. Hold down shift, select all of these paths. Twin needle. Okay, there you go. Hide your image layer, hide your template layer, check that it's all good, it's all good, okay, back, show them, select everything, copy, hold down option, or alt, black selection tool, drag, over to the back, 
and now we just need to get rid of the front um, so we need to minus out this point here minus so it will hide underneath binding just move the handlebars doesn't matter what it looks like this path will now be twin needle um, make sure it's black on the front as well zoom in do we need to add points Here and here. Need our white selection tool, drag that out to there. Oh, that, make sure that's filled with white. Bring our ribbon to the front. Okay. So we're going to have to arrange these as well, so make sure that your ribbing is at the front, shift command bring to the front, put your this back on and um, select your outline, I'm going to send all of that to the back, shift command send it back. Shift command send it back. Shift command bring to the front. Shift command bring to the front. And there. Okay, so we're going to have to do some rearranging. Going to have to we've filled that with white we can't see our ribbing now because on the front we wanted it at the back uh, i'm just going to select it move it into place over the front move that and we're going to copy our path command copy command f Oh, wrong tool. Right. Get your white selection tool, select the binding, command copy, command F. Get your white selection tool, select center point, command copy, command F. Make sure there's no white fill. One, two, drop it down, twin needle. Um, zoom in on those corners. So we'll need to add, add a point. So add, select the path so you can see it. Um, add a point and then drag the end. Okay. Uh, so hide template and drawing and just check your drawing there you go all done so we've done our four basic shapes